Your political headlines. With only eight days until Election Day, we begin our profiles on the candidates who will appear on your ballot. Tonight, PJ Green shines a spotlight on the candidates running for the District 3 seat on the Wichita Falls City Council. Incumbent Councilor Jeff Browning says he plans to try to restore the local economy as quickly as possible and help the city grow if he is reelected. While Mel Martinez says he hopes to help improve transportation and spend more time on supporting current businesses in District 3. The District 3 seat in the Wichita Falls City Council is up for grabs, and current Councilor Jeff Browning says he hopes to keep it so he can keep serving the public. I wanted to keep going with where I was. I wanted to keep educating myself, and that was the key, uh, you know, getting on council anyway. Uh, educate myself and help educate the public. Uh, so it was a no-brainer for me to run again. Mel Martinez is a pastor at Metropolitan Community Church and says he hopes to bring diversity and open dialogue to the council. That happens to be one of my gifts and skills is to build bridges. Um, and I'd like to offer that to the city. Uh, I hope that, uh, that others see the value in that as well. With District 3 running through the heart of town, Browning says there are not a lot of issues plaguing the district. But he would like to see some vacant lots in the area taken care of. I would like to see some kind of program put together to where we can keep these lots taken care of if, if nobody owns them or if they own them and they're not taken care of them. So I think that's a big thing. As a transgender man of Hispanic descent, Martinez says he wants all of the diversity of Wichita Falls to be heard by the council. Those voices just aren't getting there. And if they get there, if they get into the room, they're given five minutes of consideration and that's it. Oftentimes after the city council members have already made their minds up. That needs to be addressed. We need more diversity on the city council. We need different voices with different perspectives. While Browning has council experience, both candidates say they want to be transparent to the public and serve the city that they love.